thousands of Kenyans from different religious denominations converge in Wasingishu County to send off the late Bishop Cornelius Kowir. His last journey began at a Doris Post Club where the Catholic clergy, led by John Cardinal Jue, conducted the funeral mass. In his tribute, President Uhuru Kenyatta praised the late bishop as a man of great humility, simplicity, and generosity, whose forthright stance on good governance and justice for all endeared him to many. Urging Kenyans to emulate the late bishop, the head of state also called on politicians to resolve their differences through constitutionally acceptable means instead of setting Kenyans against one another. Tumempoteza mzee ambaye alipenda taifa lake la Kenya. Mzee ambaye alipenda wananchi wake. Mzee ambaye alitumia nafasi zote ambazo angeweza kupata kuhubiri amani kuhubiri umoja akiwa bado aendelee na shughuli zake za kueneza injili katika watu wetu mimi mwenyewe nakumbuka ni mara nyingi amenikuta akisema ya kwamba anataka tupange peace caravan haswa katika mipaka ya jamii mbalimbali ambazo zilikuwa zinagombana au kuibiana ngombe lakini pia alikuwa anajua ya kwamba amani CO2 kuleta watu pamoja. He was also very keen to ensure that we build schools and brought development to those border areas so that the reason for conflict is also equally removed. Deputy President William Ruto eulogized Bishop Career as a man of firm character whose disregard of political correctness and convenience made him a strong advocate of peace building. Huyu askofu nikisimama hapa nasema bila ya taswishi ya kwamba askofu alikuwa baba wetu wa imani. Alikuwa mshauri kwetu sisi ambao ni viongozi. Lakini zaidi alikuwa mpatanishi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya kulingana na mambo yale yamesemwa hapa ya matayo tano tisa kwamba heri wapatanishi and as the bible says truly that blessed are the peacemakers i am confident that bishop koril is truly blessed he is blessed because he was a peacemaker we should embrace the ideals he lived for in his life. He was a bridge between the poor and the rich, between communities, between classes in the society, and lived to God's true calling and teachings. Let us always remember one of the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8 to 9, which says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I pray to God to give the church, the family, and friends of Bishop Korir the necessary fortitude to bear this loss. Kofu huyu hakuwa naongea kwa sauti ya juu, lakini hakikuita kwa ofisi yake. Mime ni mauliza viongozi wengi, kunikuwa nafanya nini ya skofu wakita wewe. Wengi wame niambia hapa, walikuwa kambuwa na skofu kuja unione, Kitu ya kwanza ni kupigia bibi nyumbani, kawa ugura bishop. Because it was not an easy job. There was a way bishop was firm in what he wanted you to correct, but at the same time, in a manner that you will go home thinking so much, uh, the message, the way he puts it to you. Thereafter, the cottage proceeded to Sacred Heart of Jesus Cathedral in Eldoret Town to witness the unique burial of Bishop Cornelius Corrid. The 65-year-old cleric who died last week was interred in a tomb inside the church.
other bishops buried inside cathedral include former Nyeri Diocese Bishop Kathim Ngangu, who passed on in 1987, and his successor Nicodemus Grima, who died in 2007. Meanwhile, two people are nursing injuries at an Endoret hospital after an LCD set up for the public to follow proceedings at the funeral mass fell on them on a section of the crowd. The screen hoisted on a huge metal beam is said to have crashed due to strong winds. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel 1 News.